Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm going to be installing the harmonic balancer on this uh, 5.0 liter Mercruiser, and, it's, um, and then I'm going to be taking it back off. The reason I'm installing it is it's got a timing uh, indicator mark, but it's just one notch in a plastic cover. And um, this this engine may need the timing set after it's installed or after it's uh, complete. And with only this notch, you don't know if you're a uh, 10 degrees before top dead, dead center or five degrees after top dead center, you don't really know. So um, I'm gonna be checking the uh, timing marks based on the habit. The reason I'm doing it now is because I haven't put the silver head on and having the pistons exposed will allow me to see when it's a top dead center. And I can tell uh, what, if the timing marks are accurate on the harmonic balancer. But having said that, this balancer is unique where they move the, as you can see, let me turn it over here. They've moved the timing marks from the tab on the timing cover onto the harmonic balancer. So I'm going to be checking the accuracy of these marks to see if they're accurate, and then I will be able to set the timing. But if you don't, again, if you don't have the marks on the timing tab, then you must have the marks on the harmonic balancer. You have to have them in one place or another. So I'm going to install this harmonic balancer just to check the accuracy of these timing marks to make sure it's uh, correct before I put this thing, finish putting it together. So I'll show you an example of a uh, an example of a timing mark, There's, this is a three liter engine and um, can't really see it too well, I'm gonna have to turn it upside down, but that's a timing mark that's attached to the engine. And you can see you've got marks, you say before and after. I think there's zero right there, so to my fingernail. And then before is, uh, looks like it goes up to 12 right there. And then you got after. So if you don't have the timing marks here, then you must have them on the harmonic balancer itself. And that's what I'm about to find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, can we go ahead and install this harmonic balance in this engine? And I'm it's upside down, so once I get it installed, I'll flip it over so I can uh, show you what I'm trying to find. All right, I now have the t the harmonic balancer mounted, and I have the zero degree top dead center lined up with the uh, our TDC lined up with the timing notch on the plastic cover. And as you can see, I've got and I've already double checked this number one piston is at top dead center, and so is number six. So this confirms that the uh, this this TDC mark that lines up with the notch at top dead center. I was want to make sure of that. All right. Also, if you do the math, this is this is an, called an eight inch balancer. It's eight inches across in diameter. If you take eight times pi, that gives you the circumference. It comes out to twenty five point one three inches. Divide that by three hundred sixty degrees, and then multiply it by five degrees, and you should have the distance from that that line right there to that line right there. These are Every one of these long lines is five degrees and then you have one degree in between. So I did the math and uh, 25.13 divided by 360 times five comes out to 0.349 inches. And uh, so I took my caliper and put it on here and it's, uh, there's your 0.349, close enough, 0.349 inches. So these are in degrees and every long long uh, bar is five degrees of timing on uh, crankshaft rotation. So I've confirmed that this balancer is accurate and the notch is in the right location. So this uh, engine is ready to proceed with installing the heads. Thanks for watching.